It's Lori Larson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add pictures, videos, and text so you can tell your story using Enomoto. It's important to remember that uh, a collection of pictures and words are interesting, but you need to group like ideas together so that when we're watching your video, it makes logical sense. The first thing that you can do is add some pictures. So you can click here on pictures and it'll pull up the add pictures in Windows video. Up here it says upload pictures and video. And I'm just going to grab some sample pictures. If you want to make it easier, you can take a whole range of pictures. You do that by clicking the first selection holding down your shift key and then clicking the end of your range and as you can see it will highlight more than one at a time. Another option you can do is to click a picture and then hold down the control key and click click whatever whatever random things that you are trying to select and you can click those up. Once you've selected those, they easily load up to Animoto. Animoto also has pictures that you can use from their own library. and they can be just as nice. Adding videos is uh, just as easy. Uh, I'm just going to take a video from Animoto's right now, otherwise it's the same process. Take a video. Okay, so a couple of things that you can do with the pictures once you have things loaded. You can just move them around. Uh, you can highlight several at a time and move them around as a grouping. There's a caption that you can write on Animoto and you just click it. The caption will go on the picture or right next to the picture. Just click Save. Uh, if you click on a picture you see that you can start it right here, you can rotate it right here, or you can delete it on the picture page. You can also do those same things right here over on the left side. You can even duplicate it at that point and you can delete it. If you want, uh, you can add a picture this way by clicking on the next box and clicking pictures. You can also add a text box by clicking the T over here or clicking the T over here. A text box is character limited. The title is bigger and you only get 40 characters. The subtitle is smaller, you get 50 characters. You can move things around. Let's take a look at the video. When you have the video, you have controls with the audio either on or off. And that's the only control that you get, on or off. You also only get 10 seconds of video. You can load a two minute video up, but it's only gonna let you play 10 seconds. You can make those 10 seconds shorter, or you can move around which part of the 10 seconds that you would like to see and you can click and drag everything around as well. After you have everything organized in a way that makes sense to you, in a way that would make sense to other people, uh, you've put in your title slides. Now, a title slide will not have a picture in the background, it'll just have the words, whereas if you have a caption, those words will be on the picture itself, like with the lighthouse that we did. When you're all ready, it's time to preview the video. and your title should be your name. The preview will be pixelated so the pictures will be a little blurry. Don't let that worry you. It's just uh, a quick preview and all of the data of the video is not included so that you can kind of get an idea of how things are playing. So you can see here, no pictures, just the words, title. This is what a caption would look like with this theme. This picture is over. 
And I can tell right now that this is too slow for me, so I'm going to click Continue Editing and change the pacing up. Make it a little bit faster. Click Save. I can preview it again. See if I like this one better. If I know it's going to be great, I can skip and produce it. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So far I like this better. So I love it. I'm going to click Produce. And at that point, it's going to have my name on there and I'm ready to go. The last thing you can do is email someone to watch your video. And in your case, your teacher. Click Share Video. Final thing I want to tell you about is uh, you can download your videos when you're logged in. No one else watching your videos will be able to download them. So it's a nice idea if you want to hold on to this video without needing the internet.